everybody, welcome back to another Last Perhaps Baseball video. Today it is day three of our Yamuri Giant uh, box break. And uh, the first two days we opened uh, five packs each day. It's a 20 pack box. And so far our big pulls have been the numbered facsimile autograph cards of uh, Para and Sakamoto, as you can see on the left of our screen that we have displayed. I'm just gonna turn this one around a little bit here. We've pulled some inserts and different things, but still haven't pulled a relic card or a autograph card yet. And so we're hoping one of those is on the way. So today we're gonna begin it again with our, our, our break and we're gonna slice open another pack and hopefully uh, be able to pull something decent out of these packs. Uh, the Murray Giants are based in northern Tokyo, and they play in the Tokyo Dome. And um, also, people will refer to it as the Egg. And, um, you know, it's it's kind of a neat, it's a turf field and uh, interesting surface. And they like to play a lot of their big games there. And if you ever get a chance to go to Tokyo, uh, there's like an amusement park on the outside. There's a big roller coaster that goes by and... Uh, uh, it's kind of an interesting uh, interesting place uh, around the stadium. So there's a, a Chaiki Tone. We've had him before, a uh, left-handed uh, pitcher. And another landscape card. This is the landscape set. And so genealogy of a number number 24, their catcher, Takumi Oshiro. Takumi Oshiro. And uh, the next guy up, we have a Israel Mota. Israel Mota. I don't know Israel Mota. I haven't seen him uh, before. I wonder if he uh, was with uh, the Giants last year. And um, it looks like he had some, some limited numbers, 313 uh, batting average. Young guy. He's only 24 years old. So he's still kind of a, uh, a, at a, a prospect level. And then there is a Nobutaka, Nobutaka Imamura pitcher, right -hand, uh, left handed pitcher. And then there is Hayato Sakamoto. And Sakamoto, as you can see in the background here, we have, uh, we pulled the facsimile autograph. And of course, there's his regular card here today. And there's Naoki uh, Yoshikawa, Naoki Yoshikawa. And then we're back to the top. So again, uh, that's pack number one down and out of the way. And we've got four more to go today still no relic still no autograph that is the hunt we're hoping that we're able to get one usually usually per box there's there's one of something per box not always guaranteed but it's it's pretty much on average and we're hoping to, that we're at least on average that we're going to be able to pull something kind of neat that we can show and talk about a little bit more so we've got a shosi togo shosi togo right-handed pitcher and there's our rookie card of Ryu Ota. Ryu Ota. And we have an uh, infielder. We've got Dai Yuasa. Dai Yuasa. And that's followed by a right handed pitcher of Jose Takata. Jose Takata. And then it looks like we've got ourselves. And there it is. We have the always popular mascot family. So is it uh, Jibit? as the name and then of course uh they've got the uh the female version as well and it looks like they got the grandpa version and the baby version and all the rest of that stuff and that's their that's their big mascot and they always have him or i should say her around and on the, of course the back of the card gives you gives you the checklist and so the cross foil signings and the the giant's pride and the giant starters the three kings the next guys the phantom we haven't seen uh, so far, we've seen the Futurity Star. Obviously, we've got the mascot. We've seen Genealogy of the Numbers. We've seen the Road to 2000. We've seen the Revengers. Now, what have we seen in the other stuff? We've got some of the um, we've got some of the next guys, and we I don't know if we've seen a whole lot of other stuff. Giant, the Giant Starters, I think so, but I don't think we've seen a Three King, and I don't think we've seen Giants Pride 2020. Definitely not Cross Foil signings or a Triplex. Or a phantom, but uh, hopefully we're going to be able to pull uh, pull one of those coming up in in one of our next uh, next packs. So here we go. Here comes pack number three. Getting 
better at opening the packs, that's for sure. And the first one is Riku uh, Masuda. Riku Masuda. And then we have Shinosaki, Shinosuke Yamasi. That's a rookie catcher card. I think we've seen him before. And there's that Christopher Cristomo Mercedes. Another one of him. We've seen him before. And then we have uh, Yuri uh, Furukawa. Yuri Furukawa. We've seen, I believe we've also seen him before. And there's uh, Seiji Kobayashi. Probably now the incumbent catcher. The one who is the one that everybody else is going to have to try to knock out. Uh, Yukinori Kishida. Yukinori Kishida. And before we, uh, that's the last one of the pack, we're just going to flip it over and take a look. And as you can see, his numbers last year, uh, seven at-bats, no hits, and uh, he's 24 years old. So that tells me he's probably spent more time on the, uh, in the, with the reserve club than he has with the, with the big team. And if you notice, well, you'll notice on the, uh, if you go to the Japanese website and the roster of some of these players, some of the rosters are just absolutely massive, absolutely huge rosters. And, um, you know, they've got like 60 some odd players. Every team's got at least, I don't know, four or five, six catchers. But there's really only one catcher and then the backup and then everybody else is playing in the uh, their equivalent of the uh, of what we would call AAA or their development team. So it looks like we might have an insert coming up in here. And so there's uh, Shun Ikeda. Shun Ikeda. And then after Shun Ikeda, we have... A Futurity Star, again, we have this time we have Koda Yamashida, Yamashida, number 99. And now we have a Takuya uh, a Kuahara, Kuahara, and then we have a Kai uh, Yokogawa, and we definitely have a shiny card coming up next. And we're back to the Tokyo Culture, which is Giants Pride 2020. Um... Takumi Oshiro, one of their catchers, and I'll just flip it over onto the back. We'll take a look at that. And it's the same picture on the back as it is on the front. That's the one thing that kind of kind of bugs me just in general about Japanese cards is here you got the same picture on the front as you do on the back. And if you notice, they'll have very similar, they'll have the same picture uh, even on the inserts. So it's like they're using the same picture multiple times over. It's almost like they got one picture that they're fixed on and that's the only one you're going to get and the only one you're going to see and and it's used over and over and over and they bleed it to death again and again and again and it's i don't understand why they don't have different things if a guy's hitting why not have him sliding if he's sliding why not have him throwing or making a catch or or doing something but always seem to use the same card over and over again okay so we go with the sideways view again and we have uh, dice k naoi Daisuke Naoi, and then we're back to the portrait view, and we have a uh, Kenshin Hota, Kenshin Hota. And our next card, back to landscape view, number 41, Kota Nakagawa. And then we follow that up with outfielder number 99, Kota Yamashita, Kota Yamashita. And then we have another one of these, uh, this is the road to 2000, hit number 1500, and that again is Hayato Sakamoto. Sakamoto, one of their uh, one of their more popular players, and then of course we have uh, Yoshi uh, Kamai, uh, outfielder, and then back to the top, back to the top again. Well, uh, so far outside of the uh, two short uh, print numbered cards that we got in the first two days, uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, and a lot of sideway view cards with the uh, with the borders. The other guy that I was I, I wasn't not sure if he's going to be in the set for some people who are out here is Seattle, former Seattle Mariner uh, Iwakuma. Iwakuma was pitching with the Giants last year. I was kind of hoping maybe he would make an appearance in this set, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And um, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch all the way to the end. And um, please leave a comment in the comment section. But once again, you've watched another Last Raps Baseball video production. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah.